everyone welcome to dentistry today we are back with our human physiology lectures where i will be providing you the important topics of several units left for your first professional exams we also provide you the ppt in the description box and yeah don't forget to like and share our videos and also subscribe to our youtube channel for more of such important videos so without wasting much time let's begin Our first topic in today's lecture will be on the endocrine system. In your profs exam, the most frequently asked question is on the growth hormone. Growth hormone, as you all know, is derived from the pituitary gland. The other hormones include the ADH or antidiuretic hormone and oxytocin. In growth hormone, basically we need to mention its source. its transport regulation and mode of action this is just chart which i have derived from sembolingam your textbook which mainly represents the moa or the mode of action of growth hormone next we have the hyperactivity and the hypoactivity of the growth hormone hyperactivity and hypoactivity simply means what will happen if the growth hormone secretion is more or less like in hyperactivity more is the secretion it leads to gigantism where excessive growth of body parts take place right similarly in case of hyposecretion dwarfism take place short notes on gigantism and dwarfism might be asked in your professional exams next we have the adh adh as i already mentioned it is the antidiuretic hormone its source actions including the retention of water and vaso pressure actions its regulation and secretion must be included in the notes of antidiuretic hormone next we have one of the most important hormone named oxytocin where the most frequently asked question is on the milk ejection reflex this chart must be included in your answer right you will find it in your textbook as well next we have the thyroid hormone thyroid gland secreted three main thyroid hormones namely thyroxin triiodothyronine and calcitonin triiodothyronine also termed as t3 thyroxin is t4 right its synthesis and regulation its release and functions are the most important topics must be included in your answer in our next slide we will provide you the synthesis and regulation chart so this is the synthesis chart you will get in your textbook as well you can see how tyrosine helps in how iodine iodination tyrosine helps in conversion of uh, formation of monoiodotyrosine and diiodotyrosine which merges to form t3 and t4 right MIT and DIT merges to form T3 to DIT merges to form T4 right next is the regulation of secretion of thyroid hormones here is a chart try to summarize your answer as small as possible like in your prof it's not required to write 5 6 pages answer try to summarize it and uh, drawing charts and other diagrams in your answer will be helpful to get more marks as compared to writing long answers next are some hypersecretions and hyposecretions of thyroid hormones which basically includes the hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism namely the graves disease and myxedema short notes on these diseases are important their causes their symptoms what are the treatment plans for these diseases should be included in your answer next comes the parathyroid hormone parathyroid hormones also known as parathyroid hormones their applied physiology like hypocalcemia hypercalcemia are important for your short notes so that's the end of endocrine system next we have the reproductive system out of which really one or two question is being asked every year but yeah menstrual cycle or short note on ovulation parturition placenta are very very important from this unit if long note comes it might come on male reproductive system or menstrual cycle but for short notes 
this part is highly important okay in male reproductive system you will mention uh, the testes seminal vesicles prostate gland what is spermatogenesis and lastly the structure of human sperm all these have already taught in our previous lectures where i have told you about the reproductive system about the endocrine system about growth hormones and all you might visit our uh, those web uh, those uh, videos for more detailed informations next is the menstrual cycle where the phases of menstrual cycle or the stages are highly important basically the ovulation phase the stages what are the stages which are included in menstrual cycle yes they are the menstrual phase the proliferative phase ovulatory phase and lastly the luteal phase so the stages of menstrual cycle is done ovulation as i already told you is important for a short note shorter than corpus luteum and what is menopause this i have already told you next unit will be the nervous system from nervous system synapses neurons and classification of nerve fibers are highly asked other questions include basal ganglia and internal capsule for a long notes from this unit you have the pyramidal tracts and the pain pathway this is the diagram for pain pathway i have derived it from semilingam so this is the main diagram which you must draw in your answer for pain pathway moving ahead we have the special senses that is your last unit for first year human physiology where you should know in detail about the layers of retina what is glaucoma in short note what is visual pathway long note accommodation and its defects include myopia hypermetropia and all okay what is myopia what is hypermetropia what is cataract of eyes all these are the defects which uh, affect your accommodation next is the color blindness and lastly the auditory pathway color blindness is also important for short note but yeah any pathway like pain pathway auditory pathway or visual pathway will never come as a short note it will definitely be asked in your long note questions next yes so this is your layers of retina chart these are the 10 layers included in retina namely the layer of pigment epithelium layers of rods and cones external limiting membrane outer nuclear layer outer plexiform layer inner nuclear layer inner plexiform ganglion nerve fibers and internal limiting layer, uh, membrane yeah let me mention you these layers should be mentioned as per sequence okay and this is the visual cycle last topic for today this is the visual cycle i guess uh, i have already taught in vitamin a in our previous lectures i have already taught it in vitamin a so this is a visual cycle you must join your answer sheet last topic will be on the auditory pathway as i told long note important for your long note this diagram is highly recommendable you should join an answer sheet for uh, the auditory pathway so yeah that's it for today guys hope so these important questions will help you in your professional exams and yeah all the very best for your exams thank you